Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the features and changes included on Windows 10, build 17, 677 and 17, 672. These are test previews for the Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release sometime in October 2018. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in these releases. Starting with build 17, 677, Microsoft Edge introduces a number of new tweaks. For example, now the main menu shows icons for every item on the list. And the list is better organized using groups. In addition, new tab, reading list, books, history and downloads are new to the main menu. If you use tab you have set aside, starting with build 17677, you can now add a name for the different groups. Also, now on tabs playing sound, hovering over the speaker will light up the icon. On the Hub Experience and the Downloads section, when you right-click items, you will now access the context menu with options to copy the link or to open the folder location for the download. On this build, you will also notice that opening files like PDFs or other supported formats will now appear in your browser history, as you can see right here. When trying to print a PDF file, You will now find the option to scale the print to fit the page or actual size. Pressing F1 will now bring up the Microsoft Edge support site instead of the uh, Microsoft Edge tips web page. Also starting with build 17677, the jump list for Microsoft Edge on the start menu or taskbar now includes your top sites. And of course you can pin or unpin items that you visit frequently. Finally, when pinning books to the start menu using Microsoft Edge, you will now see a light tile that cycles between the book cover and current completion progress. And that's pretty much all that's new with Microsoft Edge for Windows 10, build 17, 677. Now let's move into sets. There are not a lot of changes on sets, but Microsoft is enabling a few new options, more specifically when you're using command prompt. For example, when you're using the console, you can now open new instances or command prompt on new tabs. For example, I can use the command start cmd and that will open a new instance of command prompt in a new tab. If you want to open a new command console on a new window, you can use another command, which is start forward slash new window and then the application that you want to open. In this case, command prompt or CMD. This also works, for example, when you're trying to open Notepad. On timeline there is not a lot going on, but now when you have an activity that have multiple tabs, you will now be allowed to cycle through every tab. On Test Manager, now suspended Universal Windows Platform apps will no longer show memory usage to reflect the operating system behavior. Also, when hovering over the leaf icon on the status column, you will now see a tooltip describing what the item means. On File Explorer, since build 17672, when using the shift right click combo to open the context menu, in addition to the option to open PowerShell and the folder location, you will now also find an option to open the folder location but using a Linux shell. Another thing I noticed in recent builds is that the ribbon now takes the color when you change your color scheme on the settings app. As you can see, we have a light blue right here. But if we open the settings app and we go to personalization, 
and then we change the color you will see that the color changes as well with the light version of the color you're using on settings this time around, there are not a lot of changes, just a few very minor tweaks. For example, when you go to system and on share experiences, nearby sharing now shows an icon. And the same will be true when you go to the accounts and on signing options. You will see the dynamic lock also now has an icon. Finally, on Cortana and search, on talk to Cortana the option to change the name that Cortana uses to call you has been added to this section so you no longer have to do it through the uh, through the Cortana experience on permission and history the activity recommendation options has been added to this section to enable all disabled notifications to help you to pick up where you left off when switching between devices and finally, alongside improvements on the uh, settings app, starting with Windows 10, Build 17, 677, Narrator Scan Mode now supports selecting content in Microsoft Edge, Word, Outlook, Mail, and pretty much anywhere across the operating system. And that's basically all that's new with Windows 10, Build 17, 677, and 17, 672. I will be also leaving a link on the video description below where you can find even more details about these recent updates. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.